Welcome back to Educator.com. We're now going to start taking a look at the Dreamweaver interface itself so that you can become familiar with it and be able to navigate throughout the program. So one of the first things I want to point out is this area here. This is known as the welcome screen. And you can think of this screen as somewhat of a way for Adobe to communicate with you. First of all, in this lower right area, there are some messages that may pop up moving forward for you. So it's something to take a look at when you first open Dreamweaver. This welcome screen only shows when everything is closed. All of your web pages are closed within the program. So I don't like people to get too dependent upon this because more often than not, you're going to have pages open when you want to do things. But this upper left area, what this will do is show you whatever page was opened last when you use the program. So you can see mine is pure default right now. So it just shows nothing. But the very top item, it goes from the top to the bottom. So your most recent file, let's say you're working on a file, you save it, you close it up, you come back the next day. The very top item here will be your most recent item. And then it will show you a listing of the other pages you have had open. As you open new ones, this is continuously changing. This middle section allows you to create some new items, and we don't need to worry too much about that. There's a few other ways to create these new items. You'll find in Dreamweaver, there's oftentimes two to six different ways to do things. And what you want to do is find the way that works best for you and use that method. So off and on, I'll be pointing out different ways to do things. And this is one of the methods. The problem is, as I mentioned, this doesn't show once a page opens. Now, the other thing that doesn't happen when a page opens is your panels themselves. You can see my properties area down at the bottom is completely blank. My CSS designer over here is all grayed out, as is my insert tab on the right. So what I want to do is get a page open so I can start showing you a few things. You'll see even these panels or this menu up across the top are grayed out because nothing's open. So let me go ahead and click Create New HTML. That will activate all of the panels so we can take a look. Now, once I open up a web page, you can see that welcome screen is no longer available. Now, my menus up here will have a lot more available to them once a page is opened. And you can see in the insert area, everything is dark. So it's now available for me to choose. But these are known as the menus, and I'll try and be very specific throughout the course, mentioning the name of the word as well as the fact that it's a menu. So let's say I want you to go to the site menu. I'll try and point that out and also mention the word menu. So the menus are these words up across the top. On the right hand side, we have the panels. And there's a wide variety of panels available, including the brand new CSS Designer panel. It's a more visual, interactive way to work with CSS within your web pages. And I think you'll find this is a much needed update to working with CSS, especially if you're not super familiar with CSS itself. But each one of these is a tab within the various panels. Now, what I have open are the default items. You can always open up more panels using the window menu. You can see those with the check mark in front are the panels that are now open. And this very bottom piece is for my pages that are open. So this window menu is how you can open and close the various panels, including ones that may show up across the top or the bottom, such as the properties. So that's the window menu. These are your various panels. And this is known as the properties panel or the properties inspector, as we used to call it. So you may hear me reference it both ways. I may spill and say properties inspector, but that's what this is. 
This is known as a contextual menu. In other words, what I have on my web page will change when I select things on it. This panel will change based on my selection. This middle area is known as your document window. And your document window has a few different pieces to it. I'll start introducing those gradually throughout the course. It gets to be a bit much if I throw everything at you at the same time. But the most important pieces within the document window are up here. This is my code view button. This is my split view button. And this is my design view. So you can see in design view, it looks totally white. That's because we have a web page with no content right now. If I click on split view, what it does by default is put the coding on the left and put the design view on the right. So you can think of this split as combining the code and the design into the same window. This specific feature is one of the things that's made Dreamweaver a very popular program to use for creating websites because you can view the design and the code at the same time. So code, split, and design are the various views you have available of your web page. The reason these are so important is because you can see this page looks empty in design view, but in order to create an HTML page, there's code behind the scenes. And Dreamweaver allows you to get into that code very quickly and easily. So it does take this much code in order to produce an absolutely completely blank web page, believe it or not. So that is the three different buttons for the various views within the program. Now there's another button here called Live View. And since I don't have a web page, um, we'll take a look at that later. So Code, Split, and Design are the various views along with Live View. And just to the right of that is another very important icon, and that is the globe. And this is your preview in the browser option. And you can see right now, I do have four browsers available. I can certainly go in and edit those. We'll take a look at that later. I'll show you how to remove browsers and add browsers back in within the program. So those are really the important pieces within Design View. So just to recap, we have the Properties panel or Properties Inspector at the bottom. We have another wide variety of default panels on the right-hand side. And we'll take a look at organizing these a little bit better and working with them throughout the course. We also have the Code, Split, and Design buttons up across the top. And we have these various menus items up across the very top of the program. Now, if you're on the Mac side, you will have a Dreamweaver menu as well, in addition to the file menu. So there's one extra menu on the Mac side. But that's a brief overview of the interface for Dreamweaver, giving you some terminology so that you understand when I mention that specific piece, you know where to go. I'll try and be very specific when I go to use the menu because some of the menu items also have a panel. Right here you can see there's an insert panel on the right, but there's also an insert menu. So just be aware when I'm talking about a panel, it's usually on the right hand side or above or below the document window. The menu is always up across the top and shows at all times. So that's an overview of the Dreamweaver interface itself, so you can start to become familiar with the program.